Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to PSP Self Learning Video Broadcast. In today's video, I am going to tell you about how to implement workflows in Dynamic CRM. So first let, let's understand what is a workflow and then I will be going to demonstrate you how to implement a workflow in a Dynamic CRM based on a situation or on a current scenario. So what is a workflow? As I mentioned over here that workflow in CRM, it provides the facility to automate your business process. Workflows are triggered when a specific event occurs in the system such as a record being created or field being updated or we would like to set some automatically actions like sending an email or creating or updating other records in a CRM. So these are some simple examples where we are going to use CRM workflow. So let's first example is like for sending a confirmation email to customers when a support case is opened or closed or I would like to notify the sales people when the customer contracts are is due for renewal purpose or for assigning accounts to the correct sales team based on the their account territory. So these are few examples. Workflow can also be used to automate much more complex processes like building up multiple layers of logic to accommodate business requirements. So this is the use of a workflow. So let's take our current scenario and let's see how to create a workflow in CRM. So my present current scenario is I would like to send an email to the current lead on, on the mail ID. So my requirement is whenever a lead is created under sales over here, whenever a new lead is created over here, I would like to send a welcome mail to that particular re lead on the mail ID which is provided by the lead. So for this, first of all, we have to do two steps. Number one, you need to configure your company's mailbox or you, your, or you need to set up uh, to the, the configuration with the mails, with your company's mailbox. So for this, you can check my previous video. In my previous video, I have already explained how to configure Gmail or the Hotmail or any other mail server with your with the Dynamic CR. So I believe that you have already configured that. So now let's move on. So first of all, we need to create a workflow. We need to set up a workflow. So for this, click on Dynamic CRM over here on this icon over here. Click on Settings. In Settings, click on Processes. If there is any previously activated processes deactivated, like in my case I have already created a workflow, so I am going to deactivate in and for you I am going to create that workflow again or to set up that workflow again. So let me delete it first. Now I have deleted it. Now I am going to create a new workflow from the scratch. So first of all, as you can see here, this new link, I click on new link. You can give a process name. So my process name is send welcome email category is we are going to send a workflow so the category is workflow and entity on means on which object you would like to use this workflow to be executed so my requirement is on lead so I select lead from here now you want to run this workflow in the background recommended so please check this and I'm going to create a new blank process so I click on new blank process and click on OK as you clicked on OK you have to click on refresh over here and you see the process has been added over here the category is workflow primary entity is lead and status is draft created and modify on it is not completed yet because the status is drafted it is not activated or deactivated so now we need to do some more configuration so I click on this process name over here it will open a dialog box in this dialog box first of all you need to make sure the process name is entered over there active activate as a process Scope, I'll prefer to use this to change the scope in place of user to organization for the complete organization in spite of a specific user and I checked it as run on demand process. Now, let's start. and when do you want this workflow to be executed or this process to be executed? So my requirement is whenever a new record is created. And I uncheck this, I don't want to delete this workflow or job automatically deleted. Next is we need to add step. What step you would like to perform when this workflow to be 
executed or this process to be executed or you can say that what action you would like to take when this process is executed so I click on add step over here and I would like to send an email so I click on send email type a description welcome email we can add multiple actions or multiple steps in a single process then you would like to use a template or you would like to create a new message so I would like to create a new message by default it is new message I click on set properties it will open another dialog box and here I need to set the properties from where who is sending an e who is sending this email the user who has created this lead so I from here I select created by and click on OK to whom to the owner to the owner of the lead so owner add and OK if you want if you want to mark this email a CC to someone else you can add that CC or BCC over here subject subject let's say thank you email I write over here dear and I use here dear we can use first name over here dear sorry dear and not over here added wrong here dear and from here I choose first name add ok and ok let's do one thing first let's complete the email here thanks for registering as a lead thanks for creating a new lead our representative will contact you shortly and here and yeah, B and here I would use first name. Once it is done, I click on save and close. If you want, you can add one more action. For example, I would like to assign records or if you would like to create a record or if you check condition or if you want to add a stage or whatever, you can add a stage also. It means you can add one more steps over here, wait condition or change status. Right? or you want to start the child workflow so there are much more uh, there are we can add more conditions or steps over here once it is done I click on activate it because if you will not click on activate it this workflow will not be activated and then it will not work properly so once it is activated you will see it is there is one option available now deactivated if you want to deactivate this and click on close so now you can see the status has been changed to activated so that's done let's move on to let's go and check whether it's working or not so I'm going to create a new lead over here so I click over here on this Microsoft Dynamics CRM icon over here click on sales in sales click on leads and now I'm going to create a new lead over here so I click on new lead and create a new lead topic products name David Cooper done and I provide the information detail uh, one more, few more information phone numbers and uh, email so I write David dot Cooper at the rate gmail dot com so once it is done I clicked on save and close So once it is created, the lead is created, you can see 
the lead has been added over here David David Cooper topic is the status is new and created now we would like to add workflow to this lead so I check this lead from here from here I select run workflow and you can see the workflow has been added send welcome email so I click on add over here and click on OK so once it is done an email will email will be sent on the registered mail ID which has been provided by this customer david.cooper at the rate gmail.com containing the message which we have mentioned over there dear David and the rest of the content over there rest of the message over there. so th like this how we can create a workflow or we can run a workflow on a particular lead and if we and if I would like to run this the same workflow to multiple leads we can select all of them together and we can again click on run workflow and now when I click on add this workflow will be executed for all the leads over here and all of them will receive a welcome message or welcome email on behalf of my organization so that's all in this video if you have any questions you can send an email to us or you can visit our website www.bisptraining.com please subscribe our youtube channels for more interactive videos i will be coming up with some new videos in dynamic crm till then have a nice day ahead